It's game time. We just met Nectar. Wait, he's gone. Where did Nectar go? Oh, surprised. Jill's away. So, who did you bend over for to get the royal pardon? The old jailer there? Or was it Sid? This game wants me to think Sid is bisexual, right? I'm, am I just reading too much into that? I don't know. <laughs> Never knew dung had so many uses. He's still on about the dung. Oh, <gasps> I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey I Harris. found him. Look at this perfect little fluffy goober. I love him. Oi, bookworm. This makes me want to make him sound like, Oi, bookworm. Oh, you're talking to him. He's sassy. I really do with a proper place to train like back in Rosalith. You're from Rosalith? Jill. It's true then. It really is you. <laughs> it is. Clive. <laughs> You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your Happy. wounds healed? The wounds I gave her. Yes. <laughs> Taya told me what happened. He saved my life. After nearly taking it. I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. I, I suspected that. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. Something I've just realized is I assumed that because Jill is Shiva, that she was Shiva when she was a child. But I've just realized not necessarily Shiva may not have been awakened inside of her yet. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm excited. But the end never came. Oh. My powers <laughs> awoke and everything changed. Yeah. It all happened so fast. We were told after. that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominants. What? Oh! Us! What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Oh. I don't want to talk about that, actually. It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. Does he know what he said? What did he say? What did he say? Francis. We found you! We have found you. 
That's what I said. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... <laughs> All right. I feel like Clive had another opportunity to pull away or accept this, like, connection with Jill. And he didn't pull away that time. And Joshua also is going to Rosaria from the other cutscene. So that's where we'll be going. I assume the whole game is going to be like, I suck the juice out of all the dominance. But I wonder why I would suck Jill unless she volunteers to be sucked or turns on me for some reason. Maybe I kill Torgal and she's like, unforgivable. And how might this old soul be of service? I love you. You, newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Of course. I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. I didn't know soil was different from dirt. And also, what is the fragrance? Is it poop? Also, I'm stealing soil from someone else's, like, garden. Or farm, I guess, farm. I don't think you're supposed to be stealing soil from someone else's farm. <laughs> yeah. Sid's gone off again to Rosaria this time to pick what? up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. I wanted to go to Rosaria, bitch. Why didn't you wait for me? There you are. And... All safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. <laughs> Did you bring it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Here. Glorious. When Martel came home empty handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? wasn't worried about Martel? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. What? That's... I got scammed! Right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. But he lied Although to me. you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? No. Oh, here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I can't believe this. I'm so upset. I hate when- I wish I could offer you some I hate some when people too, lie to me! But you're not likely in to video thank me games. if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. I'm just gonna pick- well, I'm gonna pick all your fucking apples anyway. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna wait. And then guess what? I'll say I didn't do it, because lying is okay. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. <laughs> yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. 
You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? He's not Even here. Regards, he already he went back. to Rosaria. I will. No. You look Sorry, so adventury. Ready, my lady. <laughs> Ready. I like them and Torkoal. Me and Jill are. Oh my god, this is like the most saturated this game has ever been. Holy shit! That's actually blue. That's actually green. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. Teal? I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. What is she thinking about? But mostly I was afraid. Oh my god, his eyes are so blue! It's like I've never seen colors before in my whole ass life. For the first time, I'm seeing the world. Uh, this game is actually colorful. I just, I had a couple of thoughts was that Jill probably also just like for 13 entire years was imprisoned and whatever, or, you know, like 13, 13 years. Both of these people like lost their lives for 13 years. That's so long. But also I didn't really want to interrupt Clive. I was really intrigued by what he was about to say. Afraid to go back. I know. How? But I'm here now. Thanks to you. It really is things to her. I wouldn't say she did anything, but simply by existing and being there. And also thanks to Sid, really. Really thanks to Sid, on. really, actually, now that I think about it. Really thanks to Sid. Well, th Sid was there because of her, actually. Really thanks to both of them. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. I cannot believe how colorful this game just got all of a sudden. Blowing my mind. Jill brought color to his world. Oh. <laughs> Torgo! <laughs> Yay. Oh, this isn't an enemy. I kept waiting for- Oh my god, this looks this fucking so cool. Oh. What? Was that because of Torgal? Who did that? I'm sorry. Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Here! You understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I don't want to help him. I will do it anyway, because I'm a gamer. Fine. Fine! <laughs> That's the spirit. I love how All reluctant right. he is. Here. I wanted to hang out with the Chocobos. I like when they wiggle their butt. What's in there that they want so bad? Is it Chocobo treats? This game sure is beautiful. Kinda fucked up. How dare they make such a beautiful game? I just want to sit and stare at shit. Where's Ambrosia? Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me though. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Wait, my reward is just fucking regards, bitch? Give me Gil! Man, what the fuck? <laughs> this game looks so good. What the fuck? I mean, I already knew that, but that was while it was still like dark and dingy. <laughs> it's just so peaceful and lovely. Wow. 
Hello. Here. Has this thing always been glowing? <laughs> I don't know if there's something actually about me that turns these on. Like about Clive, I mean. And that is like a part of the mystery about him. Or if it's just like kind of a gamer joke. Like you're the main character and you just need checkpoints or whatever. And they're just kind of making a little funny about it. I don't know which one it is. Damn, those are some big ass cabbages. What the hell? There's one missing. A chicken? Give me a chicken quest. I'll find that bitch. Or maybe she doesn't know how to count. She looks very young. When do you learn how to count? Maybe she like just isn't very good at it. I don't know that I would trust her accuracy with numbers. If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Oh my god. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. <laughs> come, come inside. I'll be happy to show you how well I wield my blade <laughs> after my shift's over. Those two want to fuck. Let them fuck. Oh, will they recognize me? Good, honest work. Will anybody recognize me? Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the West. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. I'm here! Yeah. I'm don't from have here! An easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. As we'll if someone could nab me, way. bitch. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. <laughs> so, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. I could just swim across the river. A nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. She seemed genuinely surprised that I would be willing to help her, like, for nothing. And then also, the little moment before we talked to her, like, the way Clive and Jill looked at each other, like, Jill, you have to talk to her, I'm just a fucking bearer, or whatever, you know, having that, like, acknowledgement of the reality of society. There's just, just, there's just so many little things in this game, it's very cool. Martha Brooks, no sharps. Following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeping, palming, foisting, and fingering. Not fisting, though. We're allowed to fist. Jill's just looking out and about, taking in the view. It's just like me. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. You think Torgo wants to eat a chocobo? I think he would. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth. About why there are so few bearers around here. I didn't notice that at all. I mean, I guess I did kept looking and being like, Oh, that's not a bear. That's not a bear. But I didn't think about it. I didn't realize that was unusual. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They 
have, aye. Either to the legions or Oriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. A oh, baby? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Why? I would be... I mean, I would be sad. Like, if... I would be sad. Like, if you had to give your child away because they were a bear, that would be so sad. Oh, but anyway, another thing I thought about is just how, like, they're conditioning this other kid to also be discussed and be like, that wasn't my brother, right? He doesn't count as my brother, right? Because he was a bear, so that can't be... It's just... <laughs> and how kids grow up so much influenced by what their parents teach them. Anyway, I just don't understand why she's so awful. And then the other ones are like, everyone is so awful. Unbelievable, isn't it? It is. Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world. And I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond <sighs> Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. I love how Martha, like, said that. She's like, there's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I would have you see it. Which is, like, such a fictional video game thing to say. Just kind of vaguely say, like, this deep intense thing and i like how jill is like and what exactly does that mean are we gonna see it at the abbey can you give us like where directions <laughs> come and have a look don't be shy come and have a look don't be Fresh shy comes. i knew that children were tested that a bearer's fate was decided at birth and assumed it was best for all concerned i know but for a child to be blamed to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew oh nothing God. of what it meant to be born that way. No, Clive knew. Clive knew what it was like to be hated by your parent for no fucking reason. No. But what they're talking about is the privilege they lived and how they didn't realize, they didn't really think about the life of bears and what it meant to be a bear. So I'm glad they're thinking about that. Wish I had a bow to call my own. Oh. He wants a chocobo. What the hell is that? Is that a green and blue chocobo? Oh, I can't walk across the water. I'm not Jesus. A bluebird. So pretty. Not that the brown one's not pretty, but wish you could tame chocobos. Good day to you. Good day. I'm afraid the abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, father. Something for the pain. I'll beg you. 
The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. Why are you dying? It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. Are they dying because they're like all their juices just being used up and sucked out as bears? Do bears, I wonder if bears have a shorter lifespan? What happened? They're like petrifying? Or crystallizing? The curse has taken them. The curse? All of them. Oh, the curse. I feel like they have mentioned the curse before, but I don't remember anything. Maybe it was very offhandedly? As it does, every bearer forced to use their gift. They do all With die. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm mad at everyone that knows this and use bear uses bears to use their power, like filling that well, filling that water well in the demo. That guy was like, we're using our bear, sir, so that we can preserve the, save the crystals because they're so much more valuable and precious versus a fucking life. I wonder how much Clive knew about this. Obviously, he knew about the curse. It seems like he didn't know all bears die this way or how it came. The curse just sounds like a very like vague knowledge that you like explained to your kids like, oh yeah, they died from the curse, whatever. I'm so mad at every adult in this game. <laughs> every adult except the bears themselves. I don't understand why they would do this. This is so fucked up. I mean, slavery is fucked up, but this is fucked. This is also fucked up. It annoys me. Especially, oh yeah, like Martha was like this. You need to see the darkness. Like you need to see the truth, which makes it seem like it's not, maybe not a common knowledge, maybe. But I feel like at least as an adult who's like just living around a bunch of bears, you would have to be at some point like turning a blind eye to the truth. God, I hate it so much. And dominance? Oh, I thought dominance were special. I didn't think this. Oh my God. His Radiance's own son. He is most assuredly using his own son's power, knowing that it will kill him, but that probably his son like volunteered for it as his duty, but he was like groomed to think that way. It's all so fucked up. Beginning with a stiffness and ache in the extremities as the curse progresses, limbs are rendered immobile and the pain unbearable. At last, the victims turn completely to stone and their body crumbles into dust. There is no known cure. I'm so mad. <laughs> ah. Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. <sighs> what do you think, Torgo? <laughs> this is a boy. I want to destroy this whole world. I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. I love Martha. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours. Aye, 
They're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. I fucking love Martha! Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. The slumbering chocobo. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. She knew! I love her. She is just like this side character. And she's so great. I love what she said about like, there are even there are people who like feel bad for the bears, but they'll still sit around and do nothing. There's probably people who like feel bad for them, but will still even use them. And she's like trying to do what she can with the money that she has. And then also helping Sid and stuff. God, I love her. Whoa, wait, was that Sid? Sid? Ah. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Out your hand. I did, yeah. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Is that petrifying? Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid, for everything. <laughs> Why are we leaving? If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Why can't we just come back? Sid! Afterwards. Gates! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Except that, <laughs> and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? <laughs> Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. <laughs> you might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. <laughs> yes, I will. I love Sid! Is that the last of it? I don't want to cry. Yeah. I've eyeliner on. best head back then. Ta -ra, then. Ta -ta. I just love him so much. He's so wise. I don't really know what he meant when he said, instead of hamming, handing them the hammer, I just beat them down. I feel like I kind of understand what he was getting at. Like, he's trying so hard just to save individual people and bring them back home, but he, I guess, doesn't encourage them to go out and do more than that and to fight the situation. And that also he can't save people who don't want to be saved or change themselves. I need a good tissue. I'm a little bit snotty. But I just feel like Sid understands Clive so much. And 
when I was watching back on some of the cutscenes, like especially whenever Sid and Clive are in jail and Clive is begging him to kill him, Sid looks like he's in so much pain. Just knowing how much pain Clive is in. I wonder if he was talking about Benny, the girl he couldn't save, or if there's someone from even younger. Maybe even before Walud. Before he came to Walud. I don't know. Anyway, I like this game. <sighs> I quest. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Yeah. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? It's not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Yes. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. Why would he not act like he was not a bear? Why would he not act like he was one of you? When y'all treat them so badly. Duh! How can you be mad at him for that? He probably was afraid of you specifically learning the truth because of how you feel about bearers. You're such a piece of shit. I already hate you. You've been on screen for two seconds. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, Ronald. This one's here to help. I was just Suck my... In. But, Ronald, you Send fucking clown-ass bitch. It? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. I hope you die come trying. Come Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. I feel like the though. crystal like economy, the reliance on crystals is so unsustainable because there's I assume there's a finite amount of them, but it seems so much better than relying on bears. But then they also use bears as slaves to mine the crystals. So I don't know. They should really just invent electricity. Jesus fucking Christ. Come on. What year is it? 873? Get with the times. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Why well, need the lantern? I'm the foggiest. You best hurry if you want to catch up with him. I haven't the foggiest. I want to say that. I want that to be a thing I say. He can't have got far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. What you looking at? Norris, I presume. Leave me be. That's what Jill said. Look where branded. she is now. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. I cannot believe this. Best friends have known each other for ages. And I don't think he's just mad that he lied. Because in this case, you would understand why they lied. Their literal life was in danger. And just because he finds out he's a bear, he wants him gone. I hate that guy. 
What's his name? Ronald? God, I fucking hate Ronald. Get fucked, Ronald. I hope he dies. Hope I kill him. Just accidentally set him on fire or something. It doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how not I treat doing. our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. The facial expressions in this game are so good. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I he just looks knew. so skeptical and confused. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. <laughs> oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. Ron! I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. So say he died? Why, Ron? You were After like a brother to me! What is fucking like wrong with him? Me. I don't understand. I'm sorry. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. And he wished those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who we'll want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. People in this game suck, though. They make me mad. I want to kill them. Thank you for listening. I think it's such a contrast to Martha. Like, right before that, you get Martha's thoughts and situation. And it's just... He just feels so stupid and selfish and the worst. I like this game, though. Makes me think about things. It's beautiful. Pet Torgal. I love Clive. We're on an adventure with Jill. Sid. I love Sid so much. He's my favorite. Hi, everyone. Have a good rest of your life. I love this town theme.